हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू स्पोर्ट्स टूडे ओ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून और गुड नाइट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन फ्रॉम विच एवर पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू आर ज्वाइनिंग अस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेलकम बैक टू स्पोर्ट्स टूडे इज मॉर्निंग रैप एंड इन दिस वीडियो लाइक ऑलवेज आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट ऑल द न्यूज दैट हैव बीन मेकिंग राउंड ऑन सोशल मीडिया एंड ऑन डिफरेंट न्यूज पोर्टल्स लेट्स ट्रेड डाइव इन टू इट Starting up with the Indian cricket team who are currently having a high intensity training camp in Chennai ahead of the two match test series against Bangladesh and what we got to know from yesterday you got the updates from yesterday's training session but the but the Indian fielding coach T Dilip came out and talked about the fact that there was a high intensity uh, fielding back fielding competition uh, for that you may, you can call it between two teams the team was divided into two different sets and both of them had a fielding competition it was a high intensity competition but the volume of the uh, of the that session was really less because uh, keeping in mind the humidity that there is in chennai at this point of time and as a result it was virat kohli's team who ended up winning that uh, that fielding battle and uh, it was uh, the winner was decided on the basis of whichever team out of the two made fewer mistakes ended up having uh, winning that battle and it was virat kohli's team uh, which won that which won that um, which won that fielding battle and it was t dilip who told us that, that about that through a video he posted on social media next up from the same training session Yashasvi Jaiswal had a difficult day out at the practice session yesterday uh, where he was seen struggling against a lot of the majority of the fast bowlers it was Bumrah it was Gurnoor Barar who all of the uh, uh, net bowlers Simarjit Singh all of these bowlers were there and Yashasvi Jaiswal was uh, seen struggling against fast bowlers so much so that Virat Kohli had to go up to him and have a conversation with him to talk to him so that he doesn't mentally sort of have a dip in form and even then uh, after that when Yashasvi Jaiswal again took to the nets things were not that great after that also so at the by the end of it it was Gautam Gambhir who took Yashasvi Jaiswal and ended up giving him him some throw down so so that he can come up with that confidence moving on you will be having Shakib Al Hasan who hasn't uh, arrived in India as of now because straight after that Pakistan series he had traveled to England playing for his count uh, in the county championship for sare he also took nine wickets there uh, helping his team uh, to register a win now he will be coming to india today he he is expected to reach india today ahead of the test series that is to start from thursday he is going to be a key campaigner for the uh, for the bangladeshi side high on confidence from the pakistan win and now coming bagging nine wickets in the county championship so shakib the key player the maki uh, the the most experienced campaigner for bangladesh will be arriving today uh, ahead of the series Arjun Tendulkar has also been in the news and this time for a performance that was absolutely phenomenal by him in an invitational domestic tournament Arjun Tendulkar for his side Goa has ended up taking 9 wickets in the whole game and since then has been talk on the social on on every social media platform for the kind of performance he has had heading into the domestic season it's an invitational tournament so he has definitely showed that he is going to be in form and the upcoming domestic season is going to be really really important for arjun tendulkar still a few months to go before we go for that maki uh, border gavaskar tournament or border gavaskar series that is to be played in australia and just before uh, still a lot of time to go and already the war uh, the war of words has started from the australian side nathan lyon early on also talked about the fact that how desperate is the australian side to beat india at home this time because it's not happened since a very very long time and this time uh, nathan lyon has talked about his own team his own batters that what are his expected expectations from his team he talked about the fact that he he's not expecting small hundreds from a Mar- from a labushain from a from a steve smith uh, for them uh, of all the big batters that are in the australian team he himself is expecting 180s 200s from the team from the batter so that they can put that pressure on the indian team heading into that uh, very important series for the australian uh, side uh, nathan lyon talked about this on a recent podcast that he was a part of 
आर अश्विन ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी हैप्पी बर्थडे टू रवि अश्विन इट्स इज बर्थडे टूडे एंड इन अ रिसेंट कॉन्वर्सेशन ही टॉक्ट अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया वेन टीम वॉज थर्टी सिक्स फोर ऑल आउट आफ्टर दैट फर्स्ट टेस्ट मैच विराट वॉज हेडिंग बैक होम हाउ लो इन कॉन्फिडेंस वॉज दैट इंडियन टीम दैट वेंट ऑन टू स्क्रिप्ट हिस्ट्री लेटर ऑन एंड वॉट वॉज द की रोल ऑफ द इंडियन कोच एट दैट पॉइंट रवि शास्त्री हु सॉट ऑफ लिफ्टेड द मोराल ऑफ द टीम बाय अरेंजिंग अ टीम डिनर आफ्टर दैट थर्टी सिक्स ऑल आउट एंड देर ही ऑल्सो अरेंज फॉर कैरियो के फॉर अ कैरियो के सेटअप एंड ही वॉज द वन हू स्टार्टेड टू सिंग ओल्ड हिंदी सॉन्ग्स दैट लिफ्टेड द मोराल ऑफ द टीम एंड टीम सॉट ऑफ फॉर गॉट वॉट हैपन दैट डे द थर्टी सिक्स ऑल आउट द मूव पास दैट एंड वेंट ऑन टू डू वॉट दे डिड एंड रेस्ट इज हिस्ट्री Moving on from cricket a bit today, a very important day for the Indian hockey team in the Asian Champions uh, Champions Trophy. It's going to be the Indian hockey team facing China, whom they have previously beat, um, previously beat in the tournament early on. India would be defending their their title today against China. They beat Korea yesterday four one in that encounter. It was a pretty good game by the Indian hockey team today. Three thirty p.m. is when you will see the Indian hockey team going and defending. Ending their title against China, India would definitely be starting favourites in this tournament. So do join us then for the for the latest updates and the post-match show we will be doing on Sports Today here also. Glasgow has also been is all but set to become the venue for the 2026 uh, Commonwealth Games. It was it was Australia Victoria uh, Victorian city. It was the Victoria that was to um, uh, host the Commonwealth Games, but they pulled out in 2023, and there was no as such. Uh, as such host for the uh, commonwealth games that there there is already a lot of talk about the fact that uh, the commonwealth games is a dipping uh, is, is sort of dipping in uh, in all senses and that's when the glasgow the uh, came up the, they also hosted the games in 2014 they have sort of uh, decided to host the games this time and uh, it's all but said that the 2026 commonwealth games will be held in uh, glasgow It's just the beginning of the day. Lot of sporting action. You have the Indian hockey team in action today, 3:30 p.m. Like I mentioned, lots of other sporting stories are going to be coming your way. And you know, and if you have, you know, your one-stop destination, Sports Today. And if you haven't subscribed till now, do press that subscribe button. And if you like this video, do give us a like.